So I always get this question where people ask me, how do you know if you qualify for a head of household? Well, let's go ahead and go over the document right now directly from the IRS website and let's go over the identifications and the proof that you'll need just in case you're ever audited. And right now, we already know that the IRS is auditing a lot of people with different criteria on their um, tax returns. So you want to make sure you stay within the criteria and you have proof of all these documents so that your refund will always be released and there will not be any issues. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and let's get started. So here we go. Okay, this is how you know that you qualify for head of household. So the first thing that you'll need to know is you need to answer three tests, three qualifying tests. And it's the marriage test, the qualifying person test, and the cost of keeping up your home test, okay? Now, within the marriage test, you have single, divorced, or legally separated, married, but your spouse did not live with you within the last six months, okay? So once you don't, don't worry about the 2019, you guys, they haven't updated the form in a while, but these still apply, okay? So that means that maybe that um, you have a spouse that's in the army and they did not live in the same home as you. You can go and file your taxes with the children. Um, and actually file head of household and then your spouse can go and file single, okay? Now, next is your children, okay? So if the person is your child, okay, um, this includes adoption. Also, if they are your brother, your sister, your stepbrother, your stepsister, or any of their descendants, for example, like the grandchildren, the great nieces and um, nephews and things of that sort, or again, you're, um, they are an eligible foster child that's been placed in the home by court order or an agency, okay? Now, it just doesn't stop there. This is just identifying if you have one of these people attached to you, like your children, um, relatives, and a foster child. But it also has to meet this criteria over to the right side where it says you can claim a dependency exemption for the child. The child have lived in your home for more than half the year, okay? And the child can be a dependent of the married, um, of your spouse, basically, okay? So that allows you to know that these different criteria help you pass the qualifying person's test, okay? Now, the next one is if, Okay, so the next one is, I'm sorry, is cost of keeping up the home test. So if you pass the qualifying person test and the marriage test, then you can go ahead and click on in. And if you pay more than half of the bills for the home for the year, or you pay for more than half the cost of keeping up the home for the year, then you, my friend, qualify to file the head of household filing status, okay? So I hope that sums it up. If you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and ask that question in the comments and I will upload another video. Or if I have a video that's already been recorded, I will answer your questions. I will reply. Make sure you hit the like button and the share button and I will see you again next time. See you later.